Hey everybody, and welcome to this week's video. So for this video, I was thinking about doing a challenge video, either like doing the cinnamon challenge, or maybe even the Tide Pod challenge, or maybe just a simple chubby buddy challenge. Decided not to do any of them. So instead, I'll be talking to you guys about my senior year spring break trip that I went down to Softwork and we went to Columbus. My senior year in high school, I was still very much in the closet. I did have a boyfriend, his name was Danny, and we wanted to do something for spring break. Uh, so we decided to do a trip down to Salt Fork. Now Salt Fork, from where I lived and from where Danny lived, was about two and a half hour-ish drive. Now I like driving, so it's kind of an adventure for me. So at the time, I had this old crappy Saturn SL something. Now this car was a manual. It didn't have like the lining like in like the for the ceiling of the roof, like the inside of the roof. And then there was cuts in the seats. It was a pretty trashy car, but it got me from point A to point B. So at the time, uh, that's what we decided to take down to soft work. So we drove the two-ish hour, you know, drive to get there. We get there, there's a huge lodge, it had a swimming pool, hot tub, stuff like that. But since we weren't staying there, we couldn't really go into the swimming pool or the hot tub. So we decided that we'd go to one of the, uh, one of like the lake parts that they have there so we can go on a hike. So we went on a hike and we were walking around. Well, we got pretty bored pretty fast with that. So Danny got this great idea to let's go from Salford to Columbus, which was probably about another two hours away. So we got in the car and we started driving. One of the funny parts is that while driving, I had to call my dad to tell him what was going on. So I call him up like, hey dad, I'm with my buddy Dan. Where we decided that instead of going staying at Salford for the day, that we would go to Columbus and maybe spend the night, get a hotel, whatnot. My parents really had no clues, so they're like, my dad was like, yeah, that, that's cool. I, you know, I don't mind just get home somewhat at a decent time in the morning. So at one point, it, the road got pretty congested like on the highway. So I may or may not have cut someone off intentionally or not intentionally. I mean, it's all for interpretation. But the people that I cut off got really pissed off once the highway got cleared off. So here am I driving and this guy pulls up right next to me. He's screaming out his window like I'm in like total full road rage that I cut him off. You know, cussing at me, telling how stupid I am, that he wants to fight me. So he gets, I'm getting, getting, getting behind me, riding my ass, you know, the full road rage thing. And then gets on the other side of, on the other side of me to where the pastor now is hanging outside the car like I don't know what he was thinking that he was gonna do but he was also screaming cussing at me telling me to pull over the next exit and he's gonna beat my ass and at this point all we can do is laugh because I'm not pulling over I'm not that stupid so he keep on driving for the 15 minutes 15 or 20 or so minutes before these lunatics to get off the next exit and we could continue our way to Columbus. Now once we got to Columbus we decided to get a hotel and that we were just gonna kind of hang out relax and then we decided to go to a mall, went around, did some shopping, didn't buy anything because I'm poor and didn't have any money being in high school. But we decided that that night we would go to the club. Well, we chose Access Nightclub for the club that we wanted to go to. Well, if you've ever been to Columbus, you know that parking is absolutely terrible, as with probably every major city. So we were driving around, you know, trying to find a parking space. Couldn't find something, couldn't find something. Nothing here, nothing there. Well, we go in this kind of back alley next to the kind of apartments, whatnot, and you see what one parking spot open, and we're like, cha-ching, perfect. You know, not thinking anything of it, so we park there and we go go to the nightclub. So we get in, you know, all the mts, 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 you know, staying in my box, kind of do the dance, whatnot. So we're so we're having a good time. We're just kind of relaxing. I don't drink, so it wasn't really nothing special. 
Well, after getting my ass grabbed probably about a handful of times and just some weird people and just a lot of making out in the room and whatnot, I felt uncomfortable and I wasn't really having that good time, so we decided that it was time to go. Well, walking back, you know, finally find this dark alley that we parked in, and I see this open parking spot, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I've parked here. So, I'm like, you know, looking around, make sure I didn't park anywhere else, and we're like, okay, I parked here, so my first thoughts are, someone stole our car, you know, automatic thought, someone stole my junky ass car, and I'm not getting it back. Well, then I realized, you know, I look around some of the other cars that they all have little tags in the window saying their number and that they're assigned parking spots. So apparently I parked in a private parking area and my car got towed. Fuck my life. The first thing that went through my head. How am I going to tell my mom, how am I going to tell my dad that my car got towed? Like, oh my gosh, like freaking out. Well, we have to, you know, play our two minds together, like, well, we'll just call the place, make sure it did get towed. Well, after doing that, we what did get towed, so we had to go get it. We had to get it uh, out, out of the uh, tow area. So, as we're, you know, kind of walking, we decided that we'd look up where the place is at, see how long it would take to walk there. It was a 45-minute walk, and it was in the middle of Columbus. We had no idea, really, where we were at, what type of neighborhoods were around there. So we decided that we were going to hail a taxi. Simple, right? No, not at all. So finally we get to like the main strip area with all the other bars and whatnot. And we're seeing taxis pass, pass by us. So we're like, hey, no taxi. Like put our hands out, kind of like in the movies, like where they just kind of wave and the taxi come up and you know they, they get in. Well, after about 50 to 100 taxis freaking pass us, we're like, we must be doing something wrong. So I stand on the curb, like out, kind of out on the road where like the cars park, and I'm like kind of waving my hand, doing the taxi, like kind of screaming. Nothing. Well, after about 15 minutes, we're like, "Oh fuck! We'll just goddamn have to. We're gonna have to walk." So we keep we keep walking, and finally, I you know doing the taxi thing as we're walking, and finally I see a taxi do a U.E. and he comes and. So, so we both get in the taxi, not knowing who the driver is, what's well, not like Uber where you kind of like know who it is. Well, we get in there, and the guy's like, Well, where do you guys want to go? And we tell him the address, whatnot. So we're driving, and he's like, Where are you guys from? We're like, Oh, we're from up north, you know, like, kind of near like the Akron, Maslin area. And he's like, Have you ever hailed a taxi before? And me, from being a rural area, I and Dad Layton have never hailed a taxi before. He's like, You're doing it wrong. He's like, Can't be like, Taxi! Taxi, come here. He got me like, motherfucker, get your ass here, taxi, right now. Like, he was putting so much sass into, like, how you hail a taxi. But I guess since he's a taxi driver, he knew what he was talking about. I don't know. I've never hailed a taxi since then. But this guy was hilarious, you know, so we keep on, you know, talking back and forth. And we finally get to the, uh, you know, get to the car lot. Well, we get in there, you know, they're like, what's your car? Well, this is Saturn, and so on and so forth. It ended up being like $200, $300, I can't remember, to get this car out. Well, luckily, Dan at the time was lucky enough that he had the money, so he paid to get my car out of the tow so we could go back to the hotel and then sleep and then go back home. Well, after driving, you know, another 45 minutes back to the hotel, we get there and I realized that we have to be up like in three hours to drive all the way back to his house and then to my house. You know, we get back to the hotel and I fall asleep, we wake, we wake back up really early and we do the two and a half hour drive back, which kind of sucked because he slept and I had to drive. So if you're a senior or just getting out of high school or whatnot and you're sneaking around your parents, make sure A, you don't park your car in an unmarked spot and get it towed. And B, if you do, make sure you have the money to get it out so your parents still don't have an idea of what you're doing. If you have any ideas of future videos for me to do, please comment in the section below so I can film them. So if you're watching this, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel.